Okay, so I have the range transmission cleaned up. Um, I got oh everything cleaned up. I cleaned it and cleaned it and cleaned it and cleaned it and cleaned it, and I still found some dirt in some places, and I cleaned it some more. So this is the back end where your two PTOs are, and I was able to acquire some parts for the drawbar that were either missing or broken on this one. So uh, that's good. This is where the brakes go. I am awaiting uh, the brake parts. They have to come from the UK. So kind of takes a while to get here sometimes. Um, they're trying to send it with one shipment. So there's a, there's a few things on there we're still waiting for in their inventory. This is where the MCV valve goes. Again, I'm waiting for that kit. Um, but anyway, I started putting the nipples on. I got one of the gear pumps. I just put this in here to catch some of the, the, the lube that I put in that, in that pump over there. So got all the tubing and everything cleared out. I've chased every, every bolt hole, every little oil passage that goes through here. Um, I've chased a lot of stuff. There's a little light bit of rust. I've sprayed some oil um, over the block, at least on the outside and such. Um, and I'm just waiting for waiting for some more parts. Um, I have some diesel here that I'm cleaning stuff up with. And, well, I'm just cleaning parts and putting them back in there. I'm wrapping it up for the day, so I'm not doing much more. But I'm going to have this. Most of all this stuff is going to go all back in there. When I get to right here, I'll have a, a brake band that I need to put on. I'm waiting for that part from the UK as well. But at least I can put these lower gears in. Um, <laughs> I can't put this one in because I need a bearing. I haven't ordered that one yet, so I just found it. Well, at least I found the part number, so I'm going to get that ordered. So, yeah, uh, I think it's coming along pretty good. Slowly but surely, I'm just going to build it in the garage. Um, of course, get the axles on it and get the plates and stuff back here. Then I plan on getting the range transmission that comes up here. Um, well... That's going to be a lot of work because the gears are stuck. I These gears are stuck, stuck, stuck. And I don't know if this thing, you can see it, but this shaft up in there is just so gouged up. This is where, right in here, up, up there, there's a, a tube that's supposed to go there and supply oil to all that there. And the tube was missing. So it's stuck. So I'm gonna have to probably cut. I've tried heating it, I've tried pressing it, I've tried everything, can't get it done. So I'm gonna, I may have to cut this gear off. I did locate more gears, and this was the one with all the broken gears anyway. So I was able to locate more gears for it. Uh, hopefully they fit. Then I have this. This has um, kind of the three point hitch set up with the. Um, draft control and all that underneath there is nasty so i'm gonna have to clean up the case flip it over take all that stuff apart and get that fixed up i'm sure i'm gonna have to order some parts for it and then when that's cleaned up that's gonna go on top of this uh so anyway hopefully next week i can have this put together maybe the top on it and have the the speed transmission in front have the axles on um, as long as my parts come in from the uk i think i'll be good that's where we're at now, coming together slowly.